All righty. Guys, uh, is the next, next interview pretty soon? Our next guest calling in. Is it Joe Thornton? Sorry? Sparky? Oh, Shar- oh. oh, there he is. Sharky. What does that say? Bright, remarkable. Wait, what? What was that? It spelled my name. I saw that. Bright, remarkable, outstanding, dedicated, insightful. Wait, what Sharky is this? Is this an imposter? Oh, you're... Oh, I see. That's how this is starting. All right. Um, well, I can't believe I'm here to interview an NHL mascot. I don't know how this is going to go. You want me to take the glasses off? Fine. Here, let me just, let me just put these over here. Um, I really don't even know what we're going to talk about. Wait a second. Wait, you just... How'd you get my glasses? No, no! Dude! Sh- Sharky, seriously? Is this a good way to start an interview? You have a ha- and how do you have a hammer just just standing by? All right, so guys, am I supposed to ask him some some questions? It's in my email. Okay, all right, uh, all right, Sharky. I don't know why I'm doing this. I'm interviewing the only mascot in NHL history to delay his team's hockey game. Is that what I'm doing here? Yeah, that's you. That's you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Oh, you're right, guys. All right. So here's here's the questions. What are we doing here? Are we this desperate? Are we this desperate? Uh, on Twitter, it looks like they've come from the handle books to watch wants to know Sharky, what genus and species are you? Oh, so you're going to write down the answers. I see how this is going to go. It's actually a good question. Oh, you have a Sharky has a Sharpie. How about that? <laughs> I am a very rare species of shark. I'll say. You're a furry shark. How many furry sharks are there? We are known as San Jose sharks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... <laughs> You're cracking nobody up. Barely me. All right. Monkey Dude 22 Jeff here on Twitter wants to know, do you, have any, do you have any game day rituals? Like, do you eat a certain meal or work out at a certain time? I can answer half of that, Jeff. Clearly, he's not working out. Let's be honest. Silence. Yep. Okay. So what are you eating? What, what do you want to respond with here? Get your Sharpie out. Typical game day. Okay. I'm sure there's a lot of sleeping in. Set up the locker room. Pack Sharky Graham gifts. Check seat delivery locations. All right. So you actually have some things to do. Rehearse the pregame, right? Is that, that's where you rappel down from the rafters sometimes. Production meeting, dinner in the press room. I knew dinner would be involved. I knew that. Yeah. That's where you're supposed to share the food. And then it's go time. Sooner Penguin, Candace Riley on Twitter. What's the most fun or exciting game that you've worked? Now, you've been around for a while. You've been around since the beginning. So... I'm curious to know the answer here. My tops. Oh, wow. Six games in no particular order. By the way, Sharky, your penmanship is outstanding. I do have to say. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, you know, we can be friends sometimes. First game ever. Oh, first game after 9-11. That's a great one. Okay. Very meaningful. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> First Stanley Cup game and win, right, against the Penguins in 2016. I remember that one fondly. Your first game ever, January of 92. Is that where you fell out of the Zamboni? Yeah. Yeah, at the Cow Palace. <laughs> Who was born in, in a Zamboni, by the way? <laughs> you are, yeah, I know. Game seven against Las Vegas, 2019. How did that one end again? Uh, yeah, we know. We know. We know. The one time you got stuck, March of 99 against the Red Wings. Everybody's looking up. Hey, the mascot is hanging from the ceiling. <laughs> you repelled down, and then they brought you back up. And then the next game. That's a great one, Sharky. That's actually inspiring. The next time we get to see you at a game. All right, let's move on here to Spud Trooper 72. Kathy on Twitter asking, do you skate under the shark's head? 
Now that's interesting because you're a shark. It's a shark head. It's kind of a, it's kind of a weird scenario there. You have never skated through the shark's head. Are you serious? Even I have like a bunch. That honor is a privilege earned by the players. Well, you, you know, and, and other people. Here we go. I sense a chirp coming. I really sense the chirp coming here. He's way too focused. And smelly Brody. See? Very predictable. Very predictable. If they let Curtis Brown through the shark head, player or not, I should get to go too. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next Twitter question. At Mac Speak, MK Anderson, if you had a goal song, Sharky, what would it be? My son's former favorite song, Baby Shark. Did I? Sorry, you're going to write it down? I'm sorry. No? Okay. Be quiet. Okay. That's a good question. My goal song would be... <laughs> Biz Marquee. Oh, baby, you got what I need. And just that's it? But you say he's just a friend? You know, you're just saying those words. <laughs> I almost did, actually. You know what? You tried to get me right there. I did, I did broadcaster read on that one. But I think I would have a new goal song each game. Okay. Oh, baby, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. Uh, what do you think? Reply with what my goal song should be. Okay. All right. I'll get you some Taylor Swift a little bit later on. I'll get that for you. <laughs> Baka Chu, Rebecca Rubin here. What's your favorite entrance for a game? Now, that's a good question because you do have dramatic entrances, but they're not all the same. I know my favorite. It's when you're hanging from the roof. My favorite and most special is the rappel. Yep. And you actually had to get trained in that, right? They don't just let you hang from a rope very easy. Yeah. I knew it. All right. Uh, Julie here on Twitter wants to know, just me, Julie nine. What's your favorite shenanigan that you've pulled during a game? And if toilet paper during a live broadcast is mentioned in, in the second deck a few years ago. <laughs> yeah, right. Anything with Mr. Brazil. I think that's why they don't let me in the building as much anymore. Being taunted by the mascot. Good for ratings. <laughs> Bad for everything else. Oh, yeah, you love me. Yeah, right. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. All right. Uh, Sky Sunny MQ here on Twitter wants to know, since Bailey has been at the China game in the first year, would you want or have the chance to be at one China game too? I know you have lots of Chinese fans here. We can't wait to see you and cheer for you. Sharky, I know you got the opportunity to travel overseas a couple times. I was with you in Germany and Sweden, but China, if you were invited by the league, you would love to go. Simple as that, huh? Do you get invited many places? Canada, Japan, Germany, Sweden. Yep. How about that? A shark going overseas. Get it? Instead of in the sea? No, no. Too much? Too soon? <laughs> what are you writing down? <laughs> Sharky with the best penmanship ever. More than Brody. Yeah, okay. Sure. That was a soft chirp. Eddie here on Twitter wants to know, favorite part of the 2016 Stanley Cup experience? I know what would have made it more fun, but what was your favorite part out of the stuff that, that did happen? Yep, you're writing it down. Scribble, scribble, scribble. 2016, Stanley Cup, best experience, everything. Wait, wait, not everything. I don't know if <laughs> I don't know if the last game at SAP Center was my favorite part, to be honest. Carlos on Twitter, the 13th Seahawk, wants to know what's your favorite event you've done outside of Sharks games? Which is interesting because I know you do a lot for the community away from actually games themselves. You actually do some good work. I do have to say, you're at a lot of community events. I seriously, you're a jerk at the rink, but outside of that, you're actually a good mascot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
It's a backwards compliment. <laughs> Favorite outside of games? Hmm. You're thinking about it? You must have a list of at least top 12. There you go. Look at that. At least six. Hospital visits, special Olympics, birthdays, weddings, charity events, anything in Sharks territory. That's awesome. See what I'm saying right there? You're a shark of the people in many ways. All right, let's move on uh, to Karen. Karen wants to know, what was your favorite giveaway? What do I do? I just sit here on television. I make jokes with Curtis Brown. That's what, that's what we do for the people. <laughs> Karen wants to know, what was your favorite giveaway this year or of all time? There have been a few sharky bobbleheads. It's got to be that, right? Hmm, he's thinking. He's scratching his teeth. <laughs> That's how you know they're not sharp, if you can scratch your teeth. This year's giveaway, the Santa Cruz skate jersey. That one was very popular. Yeah, people like that one. All-time giveaway? Of course, anything with me. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I would, I, would, I would have the same answer. I get it. All right, Scott here on Twitter. What's your worst highlight of yourself on or off the rink? Wow. How deep can we go here? Worst highlight of yourself? Is it looking in the mirror? <laughs> oh, yeah. But first, yes, before you answer the question, where is the Brody bobble? It doesn't exist. No, no. You, they, they had the broadcaster bobblehead. They had four on there. Honor, Bakes, Hetty, Ruzi. They don't need Brazil on there. No, 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 no. They're trying to, they're trying to give these away. Worst highlight is also one of your best, getting stuck on the rappel rope. Was that, more than, was that more than 20 years ago now? Yeah, 93. Oh, no, almost. No, wait, more than 20 years ago. I'm bad at math. Yeah. Oh, 21. There you go. You ready for the next question, Sharky? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> how is your stay-at-home time? Scott wants to know, how is your stay-at-home time? What exactly have you been doing? Like a fish out of water. You have some big eyebrows, by the way. Did you know that? I've never really paid attention to your eyebrows before. <laughs> but now I'm looking at them. My stay at home is okay. I'm keeping busy. But of course, you miss all the fans. I do too. Actually, I didn't know that we had anything in common. I'm with you on that one. Yeah. Still mesmerized by those eyebrows. You got to get those groomed, buddy. I got, I, got a, I got a person for you. I'm also surprised that your hair hasn't grown really long here during, during quarantine. Do you, have you been getting haircuts? Oh, be quiet. Okay. He's got one more thing to say. This better be good. Know what we don't have in common? Height. See, but when you spell no, isn't that K-N-O-W? And shouldn't there be a question mark in there? I'm, I'm, I'm not to go grammar police on you, buddy, but not the brightest mascot. <laughs> what's, the duck, what's the Ducks guy? Wild Wing or Bailey? I know Bailey. We got to get Bailey up here. Get some intelligence into this conversation. I'm writing fast. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, another question here from Twitter. You almost got a Hattie in your home rink. That's right. During the 2019 mascot showdown. I did watch that in person. Are you going to get a Hattie in 2021? I was surprised you could even skate like that. Yeah. No, I know. I know you've, you've been out there before, but you, aren't you usually hugging the walls? Sharky's kind of a bender from what I noticed. Oh, I'm a bender. Yeah, okay. <laughs> you want me to guarantee a hat trick? You can't do that 
but Sharky will try. Of course you will. The fact that you even scored one goal, I'm pretty impressed, I have to say. All right, Tyler here on Twitter wants to know, what other NHL mascots do you keep in touch with? And if I could ask you, the side question there, Sharky, is how do you keep in touch? Like, how do your big old fingers, how do you text? And you can't talk to Siri. We all get on Zoom like this once a week. We have a text group and a Facebook group. Yeah, but like, what does what that Zoom conversation look like if everybody's on mute? <laughs> Who says anything? Mascots don't talk. It's the beauty of mascots. Um, like this. <laughs> that must be the longest Zoom meeting ever. <laughs> you all write 10 different things and then who's looking at what? Wow. Remind me not to be part of that one. All right. Um, let's move on to the question from Max. Seems like you're writing something else. Oh, you got one more thing to say. Not much gets done. Well, life of a mascot, right? <laughs> Max here wants to ask, what do you think about other teams that adopted skate through a head to start the game? And what makes the shark head special? That's a great one. There's a lot of copycats out there off the top of my head. Nashville, Edmonton, Las Vegas. They're not necessarily heads. Yeah, exactly. It's like a, is it a V that they skate through or a, a, a helmet? There's only one. All the others are junk and frauds. I said it, but I'm just quoting Sharky. Sharky said it. But you can quote me too on that. Junk and frauds. Imitation is the highest form of flattery. Often imitated, never duplicated. First equals best. I would have to agree with that. All right, we got a couple more here. Stephanie with a great question. Do you eat Skittles one by one or by the handful? Stephanie, honestly, I think you know the answer to that. Is that a rhetorical question? <laughs> you think that fish goes one by one on anything? Yeah, I go by the mouthful. Exactly. Yep. Shocker. You don't have any Skittles right now, do you? No, that would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been a great visual. <laughs> I got to say, for, for an interview with a subject that doesn't talk, this has gone pretty decent so far. You ate them all. Surprising. I'm glad the camera only goes like shoulders up. It doesn't show the belly. Yeah. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Sharky getting the quarantine 15 there, huh, buddy? <laughs> we got to get you on the Peloton. Oh, yeah. Me, you, and Logan. We'll get you biking. All right. Can you believe we have arrived at the last question, guys? You gave me the questions, which I appreciate here on Twitter. Ben is going to have the last question. It looks like Sharky's writing something down. No, keep going? Okay. What is your problem with Brody? It's a great question, Ben. I would actually like to know the answer to this one. I mean, I, I think I've been cordial and accommodating in what 10 11 12 years whatever it's been and all this guy has done is shown me disrespect with silly string and toilet paper fake news <laughs> everything we say is accurate on television what are you talking about <laughs> me curtis brown scott hannon but if you don't believe me believe them Look at that big nose right in the camera. I wonder what that breath is smelling like right now. When the last time Sharky brushed his teeth. Now that's a real shark behind you, by the way. I'm scared of the shark logo behind you. You in front of it? Not so intimidating. Okay, this morning you brushed your teeth. <laughs> We are pals, and by we, I mean me and Brownie, of course. You degenerates would love each other. Um, Sharky, how about this? I'll give you the last word on this interview. If there's anything else you want to say or, well, write or do,
go ahead. It's been a pleasure to catch up with you. I, I want to give you the last opportunity here. Take a shot if you need to. Shoot or shoot. Ask Joe Thornton. Here he goes. I bet you it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a plug. He's going to plug something. <laughs> Follow me on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Wait for it. <laughs> this could be the best Zoom call ever. Ben Sharkey's writing an essay, I think. Are you taking the SATs over there? <laughs> Thanks, Brody. Can't wait to see you back at, oh boy. Oh, SAP Center. Oh, P.S. Watch Brody's podcast. <laughs> well, you plugged me. I appreciate that. Love you. Oh, you know what, Sharky? I think it's important. During these times of social distancing and isolation, everybody needs a little bit of love. I appreciate you for sending that my way. The feelings are not necessarily mutual, but for the time being, Let's all come together. Looks like he's got one more thing to say. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Yeah, wash your fins too, okay? Hey, do you have my glasses anymore? Are they broken? They're gone? All right. Lost my glasses. Sharky, thank you. Great to see you. Talk to you not soon, okay? Don't call back. <laughs>